Hey, Capricorn Seeker. Yep, I'm back. Welcome to the existential shift with moi, Morgane. Happy New Year. Happy birthday. Was Jesus a Capricorn? I'm pretty sure he wasn't. I think he was either, or so they say, Pisces or Aries or Taurus. They just decided to celebrate his birth on December 25th to match Yule, the holidays of the pagans. You know, to kind of connect the celebrations and make everybody feel belong in Christianity. Well, happy solstice, my little Jesus. Okay, stop me right now. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's get to it. January. 2019 for my amazing Capricorn seekers if you have been following me for a while you know my nonsense thank you for your patience if you're just joining give it another chance keep watching I get better this is the after tarot very much like the light of weight only a second after they're gorgeous um, I also work with them on our yearly 2019 um, videos on Vimeo that I did for everybody. So that will serve as our extended for January because in the yearly 2019 you have all the messages for January as well as all the other remaining 11 months because uh, I dissect uh, 2019 by the year. So links to that below, links to Tara Masterclass below, links to setting up a private reading with me is below. And now that we did all that mumbo jumbo technical fun stuff, we can get straight into your reading. Thank you, Capricorn, for beginning 2019, for helping us kind of, for, 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 for pulling us out of 2018. We need your strength. All right, dear energies, tarot. I seek guidance, please, for my Capricorn secrets, sun, moon, rising, other placements that you resonate with, for the month of January 2019. January 2019, Capricorn. It's been a long day without you, my friend. I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. I don't know why I just had this song in my head. However it touches you. I feel that about my dog, Ollie, that I lost um, a month and a half ago. Mm. That's why I was away for a little bit. But here I am and that's all that matters, right? Here we are, Capricorn, and that's all that matters. We're still breathing. So let's live a, a life worth living. If you're watching me and you're still breathing, which I'm hoping that you are, or else how come you're watching me? That's a little bit creepy, weirdo. Anyway, and let's live a life worth living. Messages for Capricorn for January 2019, please. First card. You see the hangman. Nine of Swords and the Knight of Swords. All right. Something that you feel like you need to uh, fight for or battle off, that you have to sacrifice something in order to do so. Um, it's on your mind. It's on your heart. You can't, it won't let go of you. It haunts you in a way. And you feel like you have to do something in order to alleviate, alleviate yourself away from it and release yourself from whatever this is. Some of you have been um, playing a game for a while now of pretending to be something that you're not. And now it's starting to get you really, really, really um, eat you from the inside and you realize 
you can't you can't do this anymore I can't do this I, I get uh, I'm getting I can't do this anymore there there is something that you haven't been uh, facing that you've been taking it in uh, slowly um, and now in January I see you like kind of had enough kind of thing and you're just calling it as it is and you're willing to do something very extreme from there um, let's keep going let's keep going please for Capricorn for January the Knight of Pentacles Ten of Wands and Queen of Swords in the reverse. Some of you are holding on to something that hurts you because you believe it, you deserve it. You're carrying some sort of um, guilt that has to do with either values or ideology or a um, set of beliefs. Um, And I feel like by February, because Queen of Swords can also um, um, refer to end of January, February, kind of Aquarius kind of era, era um, you will be really cutting your losses and moving forward, onward from it. What's going on, Capricorn? What is this? What is this? Um, and by March, you'll be really done with it. Whatever this is. I feel like that's how Uranus uh, moving back into Taurus will affect you in a way of like, would really take out anything that you've been carrying with you that you weren't supposed to carry with you or was really burdening you and release it um, but it requires movement on your hand on your feet on your requires movement of you requires um, facing it and facing out of it facing in and facing out of it let's keep going please so Capricorn for January 2019 Three of Swords. Yeah, okay, so it won't be pleasant, but it will finally give you a chance to um, heal for something, heal from something that was very painful, that took a heavy toll on you, um, emotionally, spiritually, morally. It was something that you've been carrying. Um, I don't know if it was out of guilt or out of sense of responsibility, but it's not going to last. You can't keep holding it in. I don't see you keep holding it in. I see you um, really, really cutting your losses, honestly. Have I, have I mentioned Merry Christmas? I like Christmas. Why not? Merry Christmas, Capricorn. Happy Hanukkah. Yeah. I'm going to be a little bit weird for these videos for January. You guys are my first after a long retreat. And it wasn't a vacation type of retreat. It was a grief. I've been going through my own dark nights of the soul. Um, and thank you for being the first energy of the Zodiac Wheel that really been nagging me since last night to do a video. Because I've been uh, holding it off for a week now. Around the 27th. December where I'm, I'm filming this and you guys your energy I mean have been nibbling in my the, in the back of my head since yesterday since last night so um, thank you if, if, if not you then who kick someone out of bed and out of their misery don't get me wrong, I still claim um, ownership on a little bit more of healing and recovery. I'm not done, but it's time for me to get back to you guys. I missed you. 
Oh my God, my seekers, I miss you all so very much. So three of swords, okay, yeah, it won't be fun, but hey, at least you will be over with it, finally. Finally. Okay, let's keep going. January for Capricorn. This is a very specific uh, um, message, but I'm, I'm sure there's more. There's always a few layers to our existence. So what else? What else can I say to my Capricorns for January? Speaking of healing, temperance. That fell right on the Knight of Swords. Five of Wands. In this case, in the after tarot, everyone is already down on their knees and only one man is left standing. You'll be recovering from something that you'll be carrying and doing that isn't necessarily something that you enjoy doing or feel like doing, but you know you have to do it and you will succeed and then you'll feel like you need to heal from it and take your time to do so. Um, This is a lesson in peace. How is a battle, how can a conflict, an unpleasant thing be a lesson in peace? Well, sometimes, unfortunately, we need to fight for peace. Sometimes in order to achieve balance, we need to stand up to someone and be like, hey, I deserve balance. I deserve respect, love, honor. And if someone isn't doing that for you, accepting it constantly and rolling over and letting them in the name of peace and harmony, that's not peace and harmony. You're in agony, you're in pain, it's unjust. That's not harmonious. Justice is harmonious, even if it's brutal. I said it, justice is harmonious, even if it's brutal. Truth. The truth shall set us free. But if it's any consolation, it's the right thing to do, and you're the last man standing, so you got this. Or the last woman standing, so you got this. Um, Queen of Swords in the reverse. Someone highly judgmental, highly critical, very harsh, extremely hurt by their past, therefore they um, tend to project on people around them their pain. The blame game kind of thing. Um, it needs to be out of your, out of your sphere. I feel like you guys just can't afford this, can't afford this anymore whatever this is guys please comment I'd love it if you guys would want to share this uh, with me let me know how it resonates um, welcome by the way my new subscribers so happy to have you here welcome to my tribe of seekers if you haven't subscribed yet press the subscribe button if you want to get notifications feel free to press the bell um, and have fun from here and on with me <laughs> all right more messages for Capricorn for January. He, the emperor in the reverse. A lot of people, could be yourself included, uh, trying to control their environment because they feel like they lost control over themselves. trying to control the environment because they feel like they lost control over themselves. We do that a lot. We project on the outside what we have on our inside. And if we desperately try to control ourselves and we can't, so we go to the outside. Um, also, this could be someone letting go of their control and not trying to control a situation and make it as the, as the structure that they think it should be. I see here a complete release of holding back and really storming forward with whatever it is that you've been holding on to um, and trying to control. 
This could be a father figure, a boss figure, um, um, an important male figure in your life. It could be yourself if, if, if we're talking about you that is either using their power, abusing their power, dictatorship kind of thing, um, or they're in a complete, completely opposite, feel like they're in a, in a loss of power, loss of control. The way to go about it is step by step. Each step needs to be the right step that comes from truth and humility with accurate actions and, and truthful words. And that will be self-control. The Emperor's challenge is he is the boss of everything. He can manage anything and everything. But what he has a hard time managing is his own heart. He has a difficult time with expressing what's on his heart, how he feels. And here we have him in the reverse alongside the Three of Swords. So if someone has been holding what they truly feel for a really long time, it's like because they, they were trying to either control themselves or to control the situation or force something on someone or on themselves. The mask is, 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 is broken. No more facade. What is it, guys? Ten of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Okay. I'll have a sip. For those of you that this resonates with, it doesn't have to be part of the narrative that I just spoken of. Um, can you hear the, the washing machine, by the way? Apartment above me, their washing machine sounds like an atom bomb. I'm not kidding. It's like my floors are shaking. What's up with your washing machine, neighbor? If you're seeing this, can you please stop? I'm trying, I'm trying to speak to Capricorns. Please. This could be a family secret. Oh, huh? you guys did it. My secrets. Okay, if you haven't heard it so far, you probably think I'm crazy. But as I was just talking to you about it, it stopped. Family secret coming out. Um, or uh, someone that is a part of the family, but has been a little bit... In the shadows for a while or you haven't really got the opportunity to make acquaintances with them maybe it's like a long distance cousin you know something like that um or someone that was just been off grid for a while suddenly um okay this is a crazy narrative that i'm seeing here it's for very few of you probably for one of you uh someone is um discovering a daughter they never knew they had Either you, someone gave a daughter for adoption and now she's coming to seek them. Or, um, you know, someone got pregnant, never told the father and went on to raise the child without them ever knowing. Something like that. Could be anything. Um, but I see someone coming up into the surface that is a big part of whatever it is, but is also not really a part like in and out twilight zone kind of connection um mm. maybe for those of you who whom i'm saying you've been holding some on to something that you're releasing maybe you kept a secret from someone and now you're telling them maybe you had a good reason for not telling them maybe i don't know what your narrative is but either way this is time Either because the child deserves to know. If not, she will find out and seek the truth. Um, there's an element of discovery, father figure, daughter figure, uh, mother figure that wasn't operating properly in that narrative. Um, for those of you who are not living in a soap opera, <laughs> <laughs> 
this could be, for example, someone who um, inherits a property and discovers certain books or things about the person that uh, gave it to them, that, that passed away, um, discover things about them that you never know. And it's super interesting and beautiful. This is like suddenly receiving something that you never even knew you're you could have or like it, it's a complete surprise not, not just the fact that you're receiving it but the fact that it has anything to do with you it's like something really interesting i was about to say bizarre i was about to say bizarre but i'll be politically correct so i'll say interesting even though i already said bizarre you mad at me don't be mad at me okay thanks um there is a violent energy here so if someone hid something from someone, maybe they were just afraid. Um, no judgment in this space, by the way. You're perfect. If you're my seeker, you're perfect. Two tens, one of them is in the reverse, the ten of wands, and the ten of pentacles is in its upright. Whatever this drama is all about, it is all happening for you to be able to really have something good for you. To really establish, sorry, one second. Mm. Yeah. What was I saying? Mm. Yeah, so to really establish something that is actually good for you and actually family oriented. Um, If you are a mistress, if you are involved with a married couple, things I feel like are about to come up into the surface. Um, there's also the possibility that um, he talks as if he'll do the right thing and tell her the truth, but then he doesn't. Or he finally lets go of control and just let everything kind of crash. Now, here's the thing, guys. I know I'm giving you all kinds of narratives. Some are 180 different than the other. General readings. I'm sorry. I have to give the optional narratives. Um, please feel free to book a reading with me. All the information is below. I would love to check up uh, your specific narrative. Um, but I have to say everything that I see. Another interesting thing that is coming up, um, wow, so dramatic and interesting. Um, hmm. Yeah, someone was hiding from someone, something that they were worthy of or deserving of for a long time, and now it's coming to the surface or being found out. So the person that was um, denied of something that is rightfully theirs is now about to receive it or demand it around February by February March will be January will it, because this is a reading for January it's coming up so it will come to, to surface and there will be some issues with it I do also see rivalry between a son and a father there's a lot of family things here um, you know, grandparents have passed away, left certain inheritance, and maybe now people are quarreling over, or, 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 or something that happens kind of uh, brings up a secret to the surface. Guys, if you don't resonate with this at all, please watch your other placements. Um, let's keep going. What else? Fascinating reading for you guys, Capricorn. Queen of Cups, right on top of Temperance. And this is another queen, except that she's in her upright. When we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah, 
Can you hear it now? It's back. It's back. And now it stopped. I'm really hoping that you can hear the washing machine because that will mean you have a, you know, clean video. And then I'm hoping that you do hear the washing machine so you don't think I'm crazy talking about something you don't even hear. Queen of Cups. A lot of emotional healing is required here from many things that are just overwhelming. And these overwhelming things, I feel like some of you already have a clue what it's about. I feel like it's something you've been carrying with you for a while and now it just reaches culmination. Um, or it's just stuff from your childhood, um, father figure kind of issues. For those of you, very few of you that were, that experienced uh, childhood trauma of being used, abused by, by a male figure in your life, um, this is the time to expose it, to talk about it, to seek treatment and um, care. And you should know you're not alone. So many people go through all kinds of things and they just, they carry it inside thinking maybe there's something wrong with them or they're ashamed. No, there's nothing wrong with you. Nothing. Something wrong with them for doing something to you. You are now, for those of you that it's relevant for, really maturing into a beautiful, um, emotional being that is in control of their emotions and they you transmute this person is in this case i feel like is transmuting their pain and their past into power of healing okay someone is really using their uh, past experiences and pain to help others heal um like they they, they share their secrets with others they tell their story i see someone telling their story not being afraid anymore. Um, if you are tempted to do something not right, not completely by the book um, to for money, look at this as a warning, don't. If you already have, um, do what you can to ease it, to stop it, to bring it back, whatever. I see an old female figure hiding some truth from someone in her life, either because she wants to defend this person or because she wants to defend the person that the secret is regard is in regards to but it can't hold anymore and it needs to be addressed and this is something that if it resonates with you it has been eaten eating this individual from, from the inside for years for many many years And um, it's now or never, Mr. Mrs. Now this doesn't have to be as dramatic as I'm portraying it. This could be anything that you were holding on. It could be something small, like you're being in a job that you hate and you act like the perfect uh, employee for God knows how long. In January, you're gonna be like you're, you're gonna be like done, and if you won't uh, do it um, on your own, you know, if it won't come from you with maturity and, uh, and a brave decision, then universe will kind of like uh, force it on you in a way. I don't see the tower here, so I feel like it's inevitable for some of you to actually expose, do, tell the truth, be honorable honoring to your heart um,
Anything else for Capricorn for January? Four of Swords. Physical rest and recovery. Eight of Cups. Letting go. After you do everything that I just described, some of you will really need to take some time to and release. One more. I'm feeling one more. There it is. Knight of Cups. So many people involved. See him here? Um, some of you are recovering from uh, um, are either going to rehab or recovering from an addiction. If those of you who have drinking problems or know someone with drinking problems and you're helping them heal or take their time. Maybe someone needs a real shakeup, like something happening to them that is unpleasant. Um, in order to recall how much life is important and that they need to change their bad habits. Um, I see a woman that was really there for someone throughout a very bad, um, bad habits that they had, like that he was just either addicted to something could be it doesn't have to be um drugs or alcohol it could be it could be a negative type of behavior it could be um it could be emotional manipulation it could be um gambling it could be anything and you've been recovering and you've been away and now they're back be like hey baby i'm great be uh, discerning and suspicious and test them endlessly if you're still interested. A lot of stuff are going on with my Capricorns. Maybe it has to do with the eclipses. We have one on January 5th. That's supposed to shake in some things. Not necessarily in a bad way, just be like a shift. A, a turn. Mm. Okay. All right now, let's do what I normally do in um, in, in my monthly extendeds. I'm gonna um, do the numerological and um, uh, elemental aspect. Of the cards, I'm going to rearrange the table, um, and I'll probably finish. I'm not sure yet. Either a message from the rooms or a message from the oracle. We'll see how uh, it feels with the reading. Um, but for your actual extended uh, link, also below to 2019 yearly reads, I call them. I call 2019 Ministress of Magic because I feel like 2018 was Minister of Karma, so 2019 being Ministress of Magic. I can't wait. I love it. So, um, yeah, and that includes also January, but other months as well. I feel like it's better if we, if we maintain our focus and that will serve as our extended for January. So we have like a good found, uh, foundation to start with the year. And then February, we will resume regular extended, uh, like monthly extended. And let me know your thoughts on everything, please. Okay, so what am I doing right now? I am taking, I have two knights, right? And two queens. And we'll take the knight because he's also a court card. Hello, characters, what's up? Um, I'm going to put them in order of appearance. And then I'm going to take our two tens. Ten of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. We only have one, three, four, 
a nine. They're all from the swords element. Only have one eight. One eight. Five. And these are a major arcana. Like this. Can you see? Here. For all you uh, tarot lovers, so you can see what I do. Oh, speaking of, thank you for reminding me. Uh, tarot Masterclass. I teach on tarot online. I have, uh, uh, for each card, I have a video. Also, link below. Below Link below. Link below. It's called Tarot Masterclass. Um, you just choose whichever cards you want to know more about and you get them. Um, and as I go, I add more cards as I go. Um, so it's a work in progress and it's good that way you take your time to really learn what's up right now and then you have the foundations to learn what I'm adding as we go. And then eventually when I finish all the cards, I'll put the buy all option. So all is good. Um, these because I only have one, three, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna put this back. Bottom of the deck, six of wands. Victory for my Capricorn. Hmm. You know what I need for my videos? I need a place that is completely soundproof and quiet, where I can just channel and be focused, do my work, not all this noise crap, excuse my language, let's drink tea. Mm. Hmm. Okay, completely different note, completely different area when I'm checking out the um, court cards. And this is a great way, if you haven't seen my um, my extended yet, then you'll know for next month what it is that I do over there. And this is just the start. Normally I add a Celtic cross um, and runes reading, so it's, it, it's great. It works well. Um, so this is a little bit of a taste of that right here. I see someone probably a female that so far have been treating partnership romance potential relationship from a very cognitive judgmental self-righteous right versus wrong kind of uh, point of view how it's supposed to be what is the process how things should look like should be um, and it hasn't been working and something i don't know if it was a conscious decision or something else exterior that had her uh, reverse that type of behavior. So now the cognition, the aspect of that, all that I just described is out of the table. And what is above the table is the Queen of Cups energy that comes more from the heart and from the emotion and from the flow um, of taking things as they come and just feeling and being um, from here and from here as opposed to from here. And then if before when she was like a queen of swords kind of reverse type of energy it only attracted either people who were way too slow or seemingly serious but then not or people who were way too hasty and seemingly passionate but not very serious like something about uh, her um, just way of looking at romance that's what it drawn but now that she is and it started around November, this process. It's, it's, it's relatively new. Um, now that she is behaving from the emotion, from very flowing type of energy, very releasing type of energy that doesn't try to control, that brings a lot more of a flowing kind of balanced energy in the face of, example, Knight of Cups. You see here, this Aurus is all you know, is all crazy and this guy's attacked someone else. This is a very aggressive energy in this one. The horse putting his head down. He's not very, he's working too hard, very tired, not really there. Um, it's just like, um, 
a dogma for them, like relationship. That's the kind of thing that she would attract. And then suddenly there's balance, more harmonious balance between her and the type of partnership that she is drawing in. And that is of the same element, also of water, Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups. So for those of you ladies out there, keep that resonate with this. Um, keep doing this um, letting go kind of thing where you just allow yourself to feel or not feel and be in the moment and following your intuition and not your mind. Um, it is good for you, at least for now, at least for January. Okay. Two tens. Something has to be let go of in order for something else to manifest. Now, here's the thing. Whatever it is that you that resonates with this, refuse to let go of, it's not good for you. And once you let go of it, the thing that will come in will be so good for you. Really. So please just let go of the burden something that is burdening you that you're feeling guilty about that you're constantly worrying if it's the right thing to do you know if it's not if, it, if your heart is not lighter than a feather it's not good there's a very uh, interesting alternative type of healing here spiritual healing uh, the hangman, temperance, the high priestess, and the four of pentacles in reverse. Someone is really learning to look at, some, at, at things from a very different point of view that they uh, that is very that is much deeper and esoteric and new to them. Um, they're sacrificing their old ways of thinking. They're no longer looking at things from systematic, uh, by the book, um, what you see is what you get kind of way. And there's a whole new world of um, knowledge and healing that are opening up to them and it's a very um, it's a fascinating process and journey to the unknown which you have no control over because it's so beyond you it's not in the in the boundaries of the physical realm as you know it Capricorn for some of you, it's very hard to let go of that control or that knowing how things are um, and seeing right what's in front of you. You know, going into the unknown is a brave thing, spiritual brave thing, emotional brave thing, not physical bravery. That, that comes easy to you, Capricorns. Well, I'm not shading you. You guys are also very, very um, brave in spirit. But for those of you that this speaks to, uh, I see something beautiful opening up in you and I want to enc encourage it um, by advising you to keep allowing your perspective to change and vary without judging yourself. Oh, yesterday I thought this, but last night I imagined this. But wait, so what is this now? This is allegedly a 180 from that. That's okay. We live in a very complicated, complex um, world full of layers and parallel universe type of world in existence the number of tr of truths i like to say is like the numbers uh the number of set of eyes truth is subjective and the unreal is real so just let it be that's my uh, guidance to you okay um yeah that's about that now, I want to finish up with a message from the rooms. I feel inclined to give you a room. So if this was your extended, by the way, the regular monthly extended, I would do this, what I just did now, the numerological and elemental aspect of other narratives. And then I would, before this, before rune reading, I would do a Celtic cross. There's 10 cards on the table very very good intense reading type of reading and then I would finish up the rooms okay so just see you for next month but for now look at your yearly um, okay message for my Capricorn seekers Sun moon rising for their 
eclipse for their new year from the runes, please. Let's put Capricorn from the runes. I have Wungo in the reverse. Can you see it? And Soilo. And Hera. Okay. Some of you are so focused on something that you lost um, the reason why you started it and the joy from it. It's something that you're very good at, that you've been working on for a long time, that will reap results. Um, it's like a goal, but you want to also enjoy it. Wungo in the reverse says that uh, joie de vie, the joy of life is kind of lost from it a little bit. And even though you can still do it and still um, uh, put in the work and the energy and the success, think about what it is that initiated you from going about it in, in the first place. Um, revive the will to do it. And if you don't feel like it, take a rest and then get back to it when you're more able um, and wanting not able wanting because you're able um, whatever this is the advice is to put optimism and awareness uh, for those of you who are feeling low either sadness or depression um, the advice is action do the actions get up dress up show up um, create life force generate new chi inside of you from being outside from um, from talking to people um, and that will really hit up. That will really create the sort of healing that you need. And that will regenerate a new sense of will and optimism and joy. Uh, Wungo can be the letter W. Soilo can be the letter S. It's also the sun and awareness and strong success and protection. And Hera can be the letter J. And it's the seasons. It's the changes, it's nature, it's understanding nature. So something about summertime, okay? Because I have your sun, I have your Hera, Hera of the seasons. So something might be something that you're feeling like isn't ready yet and you want it to be ready and you're feeling a little bit low because of it. Um, the timing will be um, next spring or summer. So for now, just focus on working on it, doing what you need to do, being patient with yourself, and that's it. Okay, guys, my phone is nonstop um, ringing. Um, I think I got like 15 text messages. I don't even know. I don't know what happened. It's like before I'll film, I won't be popular and there won't be any laundry machines. And after I'll film, I won't be popular and there will be no drawing machines. But while I'm filming, oh, everybody's going at it. It's because they know I'm doing Capricorn. They know they need to be active to not, you know, to keep up with you. Okay, guys. So thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, thank you for being a part of the Existential Shift. If you haven't subscribed yet, it's your opportunity right here. Um, and yeah, that's it. You know the works. Everything in the information box. I love you so much. Bye for now. Happy New Year.